Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you what I do to take care of myself, pamper myself after a whole week of work and stress and dealing with the patriarchy. So the first thing that is very important is to be and stay comfortable. So I recently came across this brand called Lively and they make some of the cutest, most comfortable bras that I've ever worn. They actually feel like athletic wear. It feels like you're not really wearing anything, but I still want to feel like cute and feminine on my pamper day, so that's why I wear them. And if you want to get a bra like that and swim with me, you can click the link in the description box and create an account on Lively, which will give you 100 points that you can use as $10 off your first order. It's a little complicated, but everything's going to be in the description box. And speaking of comfort, of course you gotta wear some fluffy socks. So I didn't want to buy new ones because it's summer and you can't find them anywhere. So I just stole some from my boyfriend and these are very cute. They look like bunnies. Another simple thing you can do for yourself is to just light a candle. It makes me relax a lot more when my environment smells good. So I'm just lighting this one from Innisfree that I got from Hong Kong. Step three is hair care and this one is a very old and classic mask that everybody knows it's the coconut oil hair mask and it's only one ingredient i actually got this one off of thrive market for free because they're doing that offer right now there are a lot of discounts that i'll tell you all about in this video by the way so you just run this coconut oil through your hair and you know untangle any knots that you have in your hair and you don't need a lot you don't need your hair to be dripping just make sure that you're hair is covered. Try to avoid the scalp a little if you suffer from like, scalp acne, but yeah, it's pretty simple. And after you're done with covering your hair in oil, you just have to tie it up. If you would like to, you can use a shower cap, but I don't find that the oil really goes anywhere, so I just tie it up in a bun. And I usually make this the first step of doing anything beauty related so that I can have my hair soak in coconut oil while I do other things. After you're done with your hair, we can move on to face masks and my absolute favorite ones to use are from Glossier and they both have very weird names. One is called Mega Greens Galaxy Pack and the other one is called the Moisturizing Moon Mask. So I always start off with the Mega Greens Mask first and I'm just cleansing my face with micellar water and after that I'm putting on the Mega Greens Mask like I said and this one is really good because it has a very gentle kind of clay that draws out impurities without drying out my skin. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the mask to dry and for it to work so in that time I like to make some tea and my favorite one for a relaxing day is always Earl Grey and while I drink my tea I just check my emails, watch a TV show, watch the news and when I was filming this, I realized that it was raining outside, which is just a very perfect weather for having a pamper day. After the mask is completely dried, I just wash it off with a damp washcloth, or sometimes I just do it over the sink, whichever one is more convenient. And if I'm feeling real fancy, I will follow up with the Moisturizing Moon Mask. That one has a lot of hyaluronic acid and almond oil, and it's super moisturizing. It's one of the most gentle wash-off masks that I've tried. And I'm also applying the Glossier Balm.com on my lips because it just makes my lips super smooth. After the mask has dried, I like to remove it in the shower because it's just easier to do everything in one place. And I'm washing my hair with a clarifying shampoo. This one that I'm using is the John Frieda Purple Shampoo because I also need to balance out some brassiness in my hair. When I'm doing a coconut oil hair mask, I usually like to shampoo my hair twice to make sure all the oil is gone because sometimes it can get really greasy. If you want to, you can follow up with conditioner, but I don't want to risk my hair getting too greasy. Usually I don't have to after a hair mask and I'm just washing the rest of my body and getting out of the shower. After I pat myself dry, I just follow up with my regular skincare routine because just because I did my mask earlier doesn't mean I don't gotta take care of my skin anymore. So I usually use a toner, serum, and moisturizer at night. If you wanna see my full skincare routine, you can click the link in the description box. And I'm just rubbing everything into my skin. Next is nails, and I'm very excited about this part because I have given up going to the nail salon because it always damages my nails and it's always so expensive. So I figured out how to do gel nails at home and I 
got all these products from this website called Madam Glam and they have more affordable gel polishes than you would find at the drugstore and I also love this LED lamp because it makes the entire process so much faster it takes about like two minutes for each layer to dry and that's it I apply two layers of it two minutes after each layer and then I'm done which is so much faster than regular polish and it lasts for about two weeks so I love it and here's another discount if you want to order any of these polishes you can get 30% off your entire order with the code chung30 chung as in my last name now that my hair is dry I can run my fingers through it it's nice and smooth and my skin is a lot more glowy and my nails are done so next is body care which is important a lot of people like to use fragrance body lotions don't do that unless you want to irritate your skin I really like this Olay one because it doesn't have a lot of fragrance and it smooths out my skin very well and the last step is really just to do whatever the fuck you want I usually just eat something I like and go watch a movie or something and yeah, that's what I do when I pamper myself. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.